Hey again everybody, welcome back to another episode of Call Me Mr. Broadstreet. Today, we're unboxing a Ringo item. Now, I got this from uh, Trax UK, so you can see right here, the custom sleeve right there. So, let's see what it is. Now, I know what it is, but you're about to find out what it exactly is. So we rip in this, right there. It's never quite perfect, but hey, gets the job done, right? And let's see. Now first, we get that open. So this is a well, this is pretty well packaged right here. They know what they are doing. Let's try to get this out. Ah, there we go. Empty box. Thank you for your order from Tracks right there. And so let's see. Let's see. They covered the sides. They covered everything. Right there and right there. Back to the magic of editing right here. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. Very secure. Very, very secure. Being careful. Being very, very careful. And let's just make sure that we get this open. Now sometimes it takes a second to open these things. But I think well worth it. And you know what? I really do like when a company packages their items securely. It's one thing if you're going to order international. You don't want to have stuff just flying out and about. But here it is. Yep, it's the movie Caveman. 1981 film uh, starring Ringo Starr. First, let's go ahead and flip that to what looks like the correct side right there. Caveman. United Artists right there. Uh, released in early 1981. Now, Caveman is the film where Ringo and Barbara Bach met. Uh, they were filming in 1980. I want to say in Mexico, early 1980 at that. Also stars Dennis Quaid. I have the movie somewhere on DVD. It's okay enough. It's, it's no Broad Street. It's no Magical Mystery Tour. It's a good enough diversion. But what this is, is it's the press kit right here for Caveman. So... Let's go ahead and, oh, see, I kind of, that opens up a little bit differently than other ones I've seen. Other ones I've seen, like the Broad Street one, kind of more vertical. But there you go. Right there, right there. Pretty good condition. Uh, I probably won't be opening this up too often. But we will go ahead and go through a few of the items real quick. Well, this is nice. This is actually kind of nice. Well, for, for this film, you got some of the glossy photographs right here. I'm not going to show them all right now, but just to give an idea, Ringo, whole bunch of photographs in here. What else do we have? We've got kind of a synopsis of Caveman through United Artists right here. That's like the production notes and everything like that. Usually comes with a lot of... Uh, you know, a lot of things. So open first, Friday, April 17th, 1981. So for those of you uh, curious, Jack Guilford biography right there. forgot, yeah, I think he was one of those old-time kind of actors that was starring in the film. I mean, he was a fairly old gentleman at that point in 1981. So David Foster, Dennis Quaid biography right there for Caveman. So connecting all the different worlds. <laughs> I tell you, they must have had fun. Uh, John Matuzak, yep, he was a former uh, Oakland Raiders football player right there. Uh, let's see, Ringo Starr, the reason we're all here, the reason we're watching this. Right there, Mr. Ringo Starr. A lot of non-speaking parts and everything like that. I'm going to end up putting this together. Uh, a little bit more later. And we get some more photographs. Now, it's funny because these are actually a lot of press photos. A lot of press photos come with this. Now, here we go. There's Ringo and Barbara. Right there. Yep, that's that's certainly them. Can't mistake them for anybody else. Let's see, what else do we have here? I'm just trying to look through real quick. Uh, Dennis Quaid, Ringo Starr, and... Shelley Long. 
as you can see, connecting different types of films. Shelley Long from Cheers. She would star in Cheers in the next uh, the next year, actually, 1982. She would uh, she would start and do a couple year run on the show. I'm just looking at what else we have in here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Dennis Quaid right there, and then this actor is uh, da, 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 Jack Guilford. Now, funny enough, I think I remember seeing him on all sorts of different commercials as a kid uh, in the early 80s. Uh, which makes sense, you know, actor, you're going to be working. Well, except for right now they're on strike, but you know what I mean. You know, when there isn't a strike, during a, during a normal year, um, you know. Let's see, here we go. That's a nice one. That's a nice one of Barbara right here. It's a nice photo. Well, let's see. Now, funny enough, looking at this photo of Ringo right here, I mean, he actually looks kind of younger now than he did in this photo. Which, obviously, it's the opposite, right? But still, I don't know. And actually, another nice one right here. Ringo and Barbara. I'm going to make sure to maybe get some... Uh, Something protective for all these photos, but I bought it off of Tracks UK. Um, you know, I haven't seen these pop up too often, so to be honest, I said, you know what? Why the heck not? Let's go ahead and uh, you know, let's go ahead and get you know a press kit for this. I, I enjoy collecting the press kits as well for different things because remember, no internet. You know, you had newspapers, you had the normal uh, channels, you had television, you had radio. Uh, no internet to speak of, and I don't really think press kits happen anymore, at, at least in this form, that, that I'm aware of. So, yeah, just looking for real quick to see if there's any other items. I don't really see anything. I'm going to actually enjoy kind of pouring over this uh, as, as I'm going through. Um, but yeah, that's a surprise item today. I'm really kind of happy to have it, to have it as part of the collection. You know, I'm going to put it, uh, you know, go ahead and put it in the archives, so that way I can keep it in a relatively safe place. So if everybody's enjoying the content, uh, just make sure to give a uh, thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I'll go ahead and see everybody in the next video. Bye.